Hello YouTube, Chester Boy here, and today we're taking a look at the at the uh, RKF Rhino Series O's Armor Set from Comrade Geo. This is the seventh entry in the Rider, Rhino Armor Series line. That's part of the Rider Kicks figure uh, lineup. And this can be combined with Comrade Geo or Comrade Gates. So, see, well, let's take a look at the package real quick. So we got O's Armor. So O's Armor, yeah. Um... So we got Rhino Series on top. We got Comrade Geo O's armor on the side. Uh, so yeah, very neat. Uh, we got the nice Tiger Claw tack going on, and it shows you that you, this can be compatible with Comrade Gates, like I said before. So, so yeah, that's that. All right, on to the uh, armor set. All right, so here are the three components. We have the Taka unit, the Tor unit, and the Bata unit, or Hawk Tiger Grasshopper. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, of course, these are supposed to represent the, um, the, um, Tatuba combo from Kamer O's, the show. So, yeah. So, let's take a look at the, the Taka unit. As you can see, it is mainly red. Um, and you can see there's not much detail on, um, the bottom. And, of course, there's more detail on the top. Um, now you can pretty much tell this becomes, like, the mask of, and the top of the, uh, chest of uh, the O's armor, so. And speaking of O's, here's O's on the visor. And then we got Taka on the tail. So, so Taka, so. Yeah. And I got a nice little molded uh, face, molded in the head of a hawk, right there. And we got some painted um, talons on there, so. Yeah, pretty neat. Um, now the press photos do show you to display it like this, but I prefer to do it like this, so it gives it more, you know, more detail, so, so yeah, that's the Taka unit. Here's the Tora unit. You can tell it is based off a tiger, um, and of course, speaking of Tora, here's Tora on the, on the side. Um, of course, this will come into play later once we get to the O's armor um, form. So yeah, this is actually pretty neat. Nice little design. We got the tiger claw on the front, which will, again will come into play later. Um, we got the nice, nice molded um, tiger head. I got some nice molded tail, and I got some feet going on there. And of course, here's the other side. What you can see, uh, I got the nice little O on the back, which again we'll take a look at that. We'll, t well, we'll take a look more into that when we get to the O summer four. So, yeah. Um, there is some articulation, but it kind of looks awkward. But um, so uh, yeah. Let's say there's no articulation on this thing, but yeah, it looks pretty neat. So. And last one, here's the Bata unit, the Grasshopper. So, and again, not too bad. It is a Grasshopper, obviously. And of course, on the back here, it says Bata on the side. On the back, rather. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, there's not much articulation other than the little antennae. Because I think, I guess Grasshoppers do move their antennae. Um, so they can go back and forth, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, nothing much going on about this, so. That's much all they can do on their own. But when we bring Kummer Geo in, that's where this, this becomes a bit more fun. Alright, so before we, before we do the combination of the, um, O's armor, um, bits and Geo, I just want to point this out. Um, on the packaging here, it shows that you have to you have to put on the um, the GQ driver, the one that came with the Geo figure, with one ride watch. Um, which brings which when I add fuel to the fire, this does not come with a um, a GQ driver with two ride watches in it. Yeah, this this does not come with it. This is the one that's from the X Aid armor set. We can tell from the pink on the back. Um, so yeah, this armor set does not come with this. Um, so basically, I have to use one of the the Jiku drivers from the previous armor sets, like again the Axe Rider or the or the um the Build Armor set, just for example. So um, yeah, I don't know why they didn't include this with this. I have no idea why. So I'm actually gonna reject this and just put this on like no, like you normally would. So so yeah. Um, so we're gonna start with the um, Bata unit, the Grasshopper unit. So 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 it's pretty simple. Move back the um, uh, parts of the back legs, the uh, gray bits, 
Well, don't fall down all the way, but then from here, you're going to remove the back legs, and then we're going to split the body in half, and go and fold these up uh, for now. And let's put let's peg these on here, and you can see there's a hole in a peg, hole in a peg. So they'll go on like this. Uh, make sure the foot's straight out. There we go. That's that. And peg this onto the side, like so. Ah, there we go. All right. Now we're gonna set this off to the side for now because we because we need to have the Torah, the Torah unit to come in. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the the legs, which they are pretty tough to come off. Which yes, these will pop off eventually, but don't worry about it. They do go back on pretty easily. So so remove the the back legs, and go ahead and put this back on, and remove the one with has the one with the claw on it, like that. And we we'll go ahead and open this up, and. And just like with the Forze armor, you're gonna feed this through the make the, this goes through the head, uh, and then from here, actually, let's string the arms down. And you can see these two pegs right here. We're going these two holes, just like with the Forze armor. But it actually goes in a bit easier, in my opinion. So yeah, of course, not to say the Forze armor is bad, but oh well. All right. And now from here, we can now. Um, Add the back, what were the back legs of the grasshopper, um, and plug it onto the bottom, and you hear that snap into place like that. And we'll go ahead and put the uh, Jinko driver with the um, two right watches on there. There we go, just like that. Uh, and now we can go ahead and finish this off by putting the um, what were the legs of the of the tiger, um, the tour unit, and I'm about to move this up out of the way a little bit, and this will plug onto the arms. There we go, just like that, and, and plug the one with the claw on it, just like that, there we go. Alright, so we got that, so you can see it's coming together, and last but not least we're going to take the Taka unit, or the Hawk, and this one's a bit tricky because you have to line this up correctly, so you got to make sure his head's like straight, like straight forward. And we go ahead and clip this on, like that. There we go, make sure it's in all the way. Okay, I think that's that. And there you have Kamer, uh, Kamer Geo O's armor. So what you look at this. Um, this actually looks pretty, pretty neat. I mean, I do like it. Um, it's not really lackluster. Well, the only thing that's lackluster is that the, the, this doesn't have like an additional tiger claw, which he only has one, sadly. Um, which now this this is actually um, apparent to the show because he only uses one tiger claw. Um, so uh, yeah, it's kind of dis. I, I think a lot of people were disappointed by this because of the there was no, there's no second tiger claw, but I can overlook that because. But so, uh, yeah, actually, raise that up. Oh, yeah. Okay, and this is starting to come apart on me. What in the world? Okay. Okay, spread them out like this, and. Okay. Alright, good enough. Alright. Alright, let's go over the articulation. Um, no head articulation because of the, um, the faceplate. The, um, shoulders, the arms do have limited movement from the side. Um, they can go forward. They can go backward. The elbows can rotate. The elbows can bend, and there's a wrist swivel, and the wrists can move as well. So, yeah. And the one thing, and unlike the build armor, um, X8 armor, and the Forza armor, including and the Ghost one, you got an app. You can actually do an app crunch with this particular armor. Um, so far. There could be another armor set that in the future where it actually allows you to do this ab crunch. So this is actually the first one, the first armor set to let you do that. So yeah, but it's actually pretty neat. So uh, okay, so legs um, have bit, have some limitations because of the um, the, the grasshopper legs. Um, then go back. There's a knee joint, even though it does look weird with the um, extra armor bit. However, it does. I think it does. No, it doesn't bend up. Okay, not this this piece but and he's still got some ankles 
So, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the articulation of this guy. Um, now let's take a look at the design. Um, now, in terms of color scheme, once I get this off my system, the color scheme that they're going for for this armor, this particular um, armor set, they're actually going off of the Super Tatuba form, which was a movie exclusive form that appeared in the Kummer Force and Kummer O's Movie War Mega Max movie. The uh, crossover movie. So, uh, yeah, this this is supposed to represent Super Tatuba. So, I'll do it again, which was his, uh, his movie exclusive form. Well, one of his movie exclusive forms. So, um, yeah. And, of course, continuing the katakana uh, motif that Gio has. Well, the, the Kamara himself. We got O's on there, which I did point out. We got Taka Tora Bata on there. So, of course, remember on the Kamara O's, um, Kamara O's, there was a hawk, there was a tiger, and there was a grasshopper. Um, but instead, they basically replaced that with, you know, the, Jap the Japanese words. Just written in katakana. Again, Taka Tora Bata. So... And, uh, yeah, that gets, and, uh, yeah. Oh, one more thing. The, and, of course, the little O thing I talked about, that's supposed to represent, um, you know, Kummer O's, um, back of the chest. So, um, yeah. And let's see what it looks like with Kummer Gates. And before I close out the video, here is Kummer Gates O's armor. Which, sadly, again, I wish it did come with, you know, here, with, you know, another, um, another... No, all, all the armor plates just with, you know, ca hiragana on there because that's one of Kamara Gates' motifs, which is basically hiragana, but oh well. So yeah, here's Kamara Gates' O's armor. It's just basically with a lot more red, so yeah. So overall, this armor set is okay. Um, it's not perfect by any means. Um, yeah, the one thing that's disappointing is that um, it does not come with a second tire claw, which there would have been like some pretty good engineering if they put in like a second tire claw. That would be great. Um, but, uh, oh, come on, stand up. Okay, don't fall over. All right. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, the one, you know, one little nitpick I have with this set, it, this armor set does not come with the Jiku driver, the Jiku driver with the uh, two right watches, which, again, the one I'm using right here is the one from the X8 armor set. Well, again, one thing you can tell. Um, there's some purple, there's some, there's a purple, um, purple mark, or pink mark on the back, sorry. Screw up my colors. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, which, again, it's kind of baffling that they didn't include a Jiku driver with two ride watches. They, they, all they, they've shown here is just the Jiku driver with only one ride watch that came with the Geo figure. So, yeah, it's kind of baffling, to be honest, but, but again, but again, you could, it's possible to, you know, to do, make it, you know, screen accurate with this thing, so. All right, um, so that's pretty much all I gotta say. If you're a fan of Kummer Geo, the um, Ryder Kicks figure Ryder Armor series line, and Kummer O's, then I do recommend picking this up. So, the next review is gonna be the Deluxe Time Machine. So thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. Um, you can follow my Twitter, like my Facebook page. The links are down below. So, I will catch you next time. My time is out. See ya.